Hi everybody, this is Miss Meeker and I'm going to give you a short, hopefully short, tour of our Google Classroom and all the features that I've added so far. Of course, it's a work in progress and will be changing, um, so it'll be something like this. Um, the other thing I want to mention before we get started is this is a picture of my screen. This is what I see as a teacher. As a student, you might see something a little bit different. Um, I wasn't able to log on as a student to show you how it would look from your end, but I think you'll get the idea just by looking at this video. When you do log, log on to our Google Classroom, you will know it's our room because it will have my name, Meeker, and we'll have Transitional Kindergarten, and we'll always have this picture. One thing you won't see on your page that's on the teacher page, this is the emergency Google Meets link we would use if we ever couldn't use Zoom. And so I have it disabled so you don't see it. I would only put it up if there was an emergency and we had to change to um, Google Meets. So also on the stream page is a listing of what I've posted. My most recent will be on top. And then there's one more thing that you can do if you'd like. Uh, you can share something with your class. If you click on that, um, there's a space to type in a comment or just a hello to all your friends. You can post it by um, clicking on that, or if not, you can cancel. Um, this is our streaming page. You'll be spending most of your time on the classwork page. So let's go over to there, to the classwork page. Once again, this is the teacher page. Yours will look similar. Um, the assignment will be listed by date. You'll just click here on this uh, little purple button and it will open up and tell you what the assignment is. It will also have all the videos attached on the bottom. And so you'll know what to do for the day. It's kind of, well, actually, this one is exactly like what I um, did on the Some More page. It's just a little bit easier to access here and especially easier to access the links. Um, the class resources and extras are just extra things for you to do. Uh, if for our reading time, when you aren't in a small group classroom, I have a reading. Um, a little slide and you'll see there will be little books. You can click on the books and um, it will take you to YouTube pages and some read alouds for your child to listen to during their uh, reading time each day. Hopefully I'll be adding to this each week and you can soon have a whole library of books to have access to. Alpha Friends is just a visual of our alphabet that we'll be learning. Our alphabet has a little picture of, a, oh, let me click on this. You can see our first letter is Andy Apple. It has a picture of something that starts with the letter in, and then it has the letter embedded. That's to help you remember the sound and the letter a little bit better. Um, we'll be starting our alphabet soon and when we do, I'll teach you all the motions and post that here as well. PE activities are just a good way for you if you want to take some movement breaks when you're on independent work. Uh, Mrs. Miller, our PE teacher, provided six different short videos for you to do. Um, they're really fun and all you do is you click on her slide and then you click on one of the six and there's a little um, place to make it big so you can see it and then enjoy her PE activities. Um, the last extra is just a top 10 uh, YouTube sites for kids that I found on the internet and I reposted here. Um, I really like the resource and it's a good thing if you have extra time. Um, underneath our class resources, I put some technology links. There's the Zoom meet link for the week. I'll, I put it there. Um, there's a, a little thing about Chromebook problems, which includes the number of the tech desk. So if you have a problem, you can call, you can find the number, always find the number here. And the last one is a clever login. I used this last year and um, it doesn't, 
I'm not sure if it's still working this year or not, um, but give it a try. This might be a quick way to get to Clever Login. Now, if this doesn't work, please let me know. I can remove it. You can always get on Clever by going to the um, San Alejo Elementary website and going to the Clever Login under the Quick Links button, and you can get on that way just as easily. Um, that's it for about our classwork. Um, here under People just shows everybody in our classroom, and I'm not sure you can even see that or not. Under Grade, you'll notice it's going to be empty because we will not be grading. I will not be grading through Google Classroom. We'll be doing that through Seesaw. So that's about it for our Google Classroom tour. I hope that you are a little bit more familiar with it. If you have any questions, please, please email me in and I will explain it more thoroughly. Um, it's a lot to learn, but I'm sure you'll get a hang of it really soon. Thank you for listening and have a great rest of your day.